The scene begins with the end. Gotham is hell on earth. Fire and chaos runs rampant throughout the city and Bruce Wayne is crucified on his bat signal. The scene jumps to present day Gotham City. Jason Bard, a new recruit arrives at the train station for his new job with the Gotham City Police Department. Harvey Bullock introduces himself and says that Jim Gordon, the police commissioner, has his hands tied at the moment and sent him instead. At the warehouse in Gotham City, Jim Gordon and a few innocent children are pinned down by Professor Pig and his men. Suddenly, Batman comes crashing off the windows and into Pig's copter. As Pig and his henchmen retreat, Batman approaches Gordon and inquires on the welfare of the children. The two heroes regroup and begin the chase. Pig and his men arrive at the fork in the road and one man breaks from the group. Batman orders the commissioner to take the stray man while he gives chase to Professor Pig. The stray man runs into the train station and onto the tracks but is followed by Gordon. After Batman subdues Professor Pig and his henchmen, Alfred alerts him to Gordon's whereabouts on the train tracks and that there are two trains approaching from both directions. City Hall Bullock brings Jason Bard into a meeting with Major Ford. The Major patronizes Bard with a condescending tone. Captain Sawyer walks in and tells Bard to disregard everything that the dirtbag Major has said. Captain Sawyer informs a group of Jim Gordon's request for backup. They suit up and head out. Gotham City train station. The chase ends and Commissioner Gordon orders the suspect to drop his gun. Gordon counts to three and by the end of the count shoots at the suspect's gun to disarm him. The bullet travels through the suspect's gun and into the power supply box behind him. The power supply box blows up violently as Batman runs down to the station giving orders to cut all powers to the area. The two trains are now on a collision path with Commissioner Gordon in the middle. Bullock and company arrives in time to witness the events taking place. Batman arrives in time to tackle Gordon out of the way as the two trains violently collide killing hundreds of civilians. A confused Jim Gordon questions his actions that just killed hundreds. Batman offers to stay but Gordon tells Batman to leave since Batman could be needed elsewhere. Bullock and his group approach Commissioner Gordon for answers to the horrors that they have just witnessed. Major Ford blames Gordon on everything due to Gordon's bullet that led to the track failure. Major Ford demands that Jason Bard place Commissioner Gordon in handcuffs for his reckless actions. The nervous Bard looks at Gordon for guidance. Gordon opens his wrist to welcome the handcuffs as Jason Bard reads him his rights. How's it going guys? Welcome to Comic Island and today we are looking at Batman Eternal issue number one. So Batman Eternal is a new Batman series that explores the Dark Knight's relationship with those closest to him. This issue reintroduces us to Jason Bard, his first appearance in the New 52. I guess Bard will be the rookie cop that sees how Gotham is run. Bard is like the new cop that we can relate to so I am excited to see how this plays out. I love the awkward moment when Bard meets the guy that hired him for the first time and Bard has to put handcuffs on Gordon and read him his rights. Speaking about Jim Gordon, the relationship between him and Batman has been stale for quite some time. In Batman Eternal Issue 1, we find out that these two guys are as close as ever. I especially love the scene where Batman is expected to disappear when Jim turns away, but instead of disappearing, Batman offers to stay. That's pretty strong bromance in my opinion. I do hope that this is the last time we see a Professor Pig. I don't think he is as interesting as the other guys in the Batman's rogues gallery. I would like to see more fan faves like the Joker or Two-Face or even Poison Ivy. The only problem I have with this issue is Jim Gordon acting like Clint Eastwood in one of his western movies thinking he can shoot out the gun from the suspect's hands. I'm not a cop so I'm no expert in this but I'm gonna say that what Jim did was not part of police protocol. So anyways thank you for watching my review of Batman Eternal issue number one. This is my first time reviewing a Batman comic series and I'm quite excited so I will bring you more Batman in the months to come. If you would enjoyed this video please like, subscribe and I'll see you next time.